Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today is February 22nd, and that is 2-22 of 2022, where Samsung pushed off a massive update for not only GoodLock itself, but also its modules inside. Now, not every single module has been updated, but the majority of them have been. And again, not only for the flat traditional devices, but you also have these updates for the flipping and folding devices as well. So I'm gonna show you how you're able to update not only GoodLock, but also its modules. We'll take a look at everything that is also brand new. So there's a couple ways of updating this. The first way you can do this is, let's say you wanna go in inside of GoodLock itself. So that is one way you can go inside. For any application or any module you have downloaded, you'll see that little uh, bag right there, which means that you have downloaded it. And also too, there is an update if you see that little orange end. Now, as you scroll down, if you see these little blue arrows, that means that you still have to download those. And that is why you might not see that little N notification for something that is new. So for example, let's say that we move over into the family page. These are more good lock modules just not in the regular unit page but here is the family page for example that sound assistant i don't have downloaded on this device over here and as you scroll down you can see that the update was today february 22nd of 2022 as you scroll up you can see what is new now the other way that you can also get these ones downloaded is if you were to go inside of your samsung folder this is maybe where you have your galaxy store application sitting now where you want to go is this main page here. This is what's going to pop up the moment you open it for the first time. Then you want to hit on menu. So once you hit on menu, this is where you can see all of those updates. Now you may see more updates right there. You might see the number 12. You might see the number 14. If you have more of those modules downloaded, you just go inside of here and then you want to hit on this little, uh, you know, download link or upload link right up over here. And there might even be more that you see on the top. So there's a few things here for Bixby uh, that I didn't do from before. So you can just hit on update. You can also take a look below, you know, when was it updated? What is brand new? But we're not covering that in today's video. We're talking about these modules here that are a part of GoodLock. But you also see here, GoodLock itself has an update. Now, if you want to read what this update is, it's just talking about fix a system parameter. Now, really, they have to update GoodLock itself when there is a bunch of modules that also have a bunch of updates. So let's just go through, let's hit on update for good lock right over there. Uh, over here, what we're gonna do is on the very top, you can see that little N. And as I mentioned from before, you can open up good lock, you can hit on this little update button, and then now you're able to update good lock from right here. So you, if you want to go either direction, opening good lock to update things, or you can go into the Galaxy Store. Both places will work. Uh, it's really just kind of up to you. So again, you can see, with this update, this one actually happened last night, February 21st, in preparation of all of the modules getting updated today. Now, this is where you can go inside of what is new. Again, you can still read it, basically just talking about fixing parameter. So we're gonna go back inside of GoodLock because over here, we're gonna take a look at the rest of these little applications and updates. Now, I'm not gonna go on both of these devices. I'm just gonna get this one updated over here and then move it out of the way. And then we'll take a look at everything over here on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Ultra. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. You appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung phones, as well as good luck. Make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button, as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. So taking a look at a lot of things that are brand new. So in terms of clock face, and you know for a fact that there is an update for clock face because I had that module downloaded. Uh, but in order for you to you know update this and take a look, you want to hit on that little icon there. You don't want to go into the module. You want to hit on that little icon. Now, as you scroll down, you can see February 22nd, 2022. And then when you take a look at what is new, so there's a couple things, improved decorations by linking sticker resource, and then applied clocks from, from watch faces created by watch face studio from Galaxy Watch. Now this will work on Samsung One UI 4.1 or higher. So again, this one's gonna be in, in effect of if you have the Galaxy S22 series. And I say that because if you take a look at my software information here for the Galaxy S21 Ultra, we're still running on Samsung One UI uh, 4.0. And I believe this update that we will see for that 4.1 or 4.2, some of these updates should be coming, I'm hoping, in the next 
few weeks. Once these Galaxy S22 devices are actually in stores, it's getting in people's hands, then these updates will come to the previous devices. So that was everything new with Clock Face. So now all you have to do is hit on that little update button. We're gonna go back inside of Good Lock. Now we're gonna take a look at Home Up. Again, you wanna tap on that icon. As you scroll down, this one was updated February 22nd, which is today. And for here, for the what's new, it looks like just a couple things. Fix, fix the display error of folder after SOS upgrade in tablet. Uh, and then you also have the increased, the maximum number of favorites to 12 in foldable devices. So this one will come in effect with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 in terms of the uh, maximum number of favorites to 12. So that's pretty much it for Home Up. Now we're gonna hit on that little update button. And now when it comes over to Routines Plus, for Routines Plus, again, we're gonna scroll down. This update was February 22nd, again today. Uh, for this update here or the fix, they added touch macro stop action. So don't really know for sure exactly what that one is. We can maybe play with that one and take a look at Routines Plus in the future. Uh, but again, added touch macro stop action. So now we're gonna move on back. Here is Lockstar. Now I don't have this one downloaded. I'm gonna see if this one has an update and we'll do the rest of that You know, for the rest of them. This one was pushed out last night, February 21st. What is new? The update library for clock face support. So it looks like there is a update for clock face for Lockstar. Now we're gonna move down over into Quickstar, which is gonna be pretty much your quick panel, that little uh, top, uh, you know, when you pull down the top of your phone right over here, you can update and change some of that stuff. This one's updated February 22nd, again today. Uh, so there's two updates here. So shorten the entry path for open quick panel directly menu, and also supported a guide overlay on status bar for the area of quick setting and notification. So again, when you play with this one, it's pretty fun. You can move your indi indicator clock, you can move it left, right, you can have it center. You can change the visibility of indicator icons. So sometimes when you take a look up over here, you might see someone's time sitting over on this side. Maybe some of these notifications are missing and not showing. And so basically this is the module that allows you to do a lot of that. Scrolling down over here is multi-star. So this is where you'd be able to have, you know, multi-window, different things you're able to do, resizing, you know, a little bit more than what the, the regular stock phones are able to do. Looks like there was no update for this one. Uh, over into Navstar, we're gonna scroll down, see if there's an update. So this is for February 22nd. So yes, uh, Navstar was also updated. So right over here, you can link with sticker resources for changing navigation bar icons. And then also too, uh, added gesture handle transparency setting, uh, and then added the allow back gesture in a full screen setting. So here is February 22nd. So we got another update today. Uh, each menu offered will appear differently on the specifications supported by this device. Screen capture provides settings such as activating the delete button immediately when capturing the screen. So not saving to the clipboard and turning off the magnet effect after capturing. So this is actually really cool when it comes down to nice shot. If you take a screenshot, you have the option to actually delete it immediately if that was something that you actually didn't mean or actually need. Uh, so for Noti Star, uh, so as you scroll on down, we're gonna see if there's an update here. So it looks like no update for Noti Star. Uh, here is the family. So we already saw earlier, Sound Assistant, there is an update. Uh, this one came out February 22nd, again today. A color preset is provided on the volume panel. Apply volume panel theme to DEX mode. So if you're somebody who loves to use DEX, you can now use your sound assistant uh, and you can put your uh, volume panel theme inside of DEX mode. And then added new feature that provides various effects to the microphone in game chat and recording app. So really cool stuff there for sound assistant. And you can maybe see that some of these, uh, you know, I do use on the Z Fold 3. It just happened that for the Galaxy S21 Ultra over here, I did take off a few of these. Uh, so now when it comes over into Edge Touch, I don't believe there's an update. So nope, that last update was September 10th. One Hand Operation Plus. Uh, looks like One Hand Operation Plus has an update for February or yeah, February 22nd. Add new features. So you can move screen and keyboard shortcuts 
inside of the one hand operation plus and we'll play with those later on improve quick tools pop up and then bug fixes and st uh, stability improvement so it looks like one hand plus sound assistant is a couple things that we'll do here in the near future for nice catch let's see if there's any updates here january 24th so nothing too new let's take a look at theme park Theme Park is a pretty big one, so I figured there'd be an update here. So this one was pushed out last night, uh, so February 21st. So add a feature to change each app icon and more options to select a wallpaper. So it looks like you can, you can change your app icons, you can change your wallpapers a little bit easier inside of Theme Park. Wonderland, so we're gonna scroll down, see uh, February 22nd, looks like a big update for this one as well. A link with wallpaper and sticker resources, video wallpaper effect, add 3D effect of portrait mode in wallpaper. Uh, let's see, and that's pretty much about it. So it looks like a pretty big update there for Wonderland. Uh, two more to take a look at. So here's Pentastic, just to see if there's any updates here. February 22nd, looks like a brand new one. Link with wallpaper and sticker resources. So looks like, you know, for a lot of these modules with the newer updated wallpapers and sticker resources, they also had to have updates as well to give that support. And then Keys Cafe, I don't believe there's an update with this one. I'm actually not a huge fan of Keys Cafe, and it looks like a lot of people also are not. No update since November 16th. So that was everything that is brand new here for Goodlock. I showed you a couple ways that you are able to get this thing updated. You can go through Goodlock itself, update it through the little notification on the top right hand side. Uh, you can tap on these little icons. This is where you're able to hit on install, update, things like that. Or you can just go through the regular Samsung Galaxy Store and then you can take a look at all these applications there as well. Now, if there's any of these in particular that you would like to see more in depth, let me know. I do believe I'll probably take a look at the One Hand Operation Plus. I'll take a look at Sound Assistant uh, and then maybe a couple other of these these ones as well maybe one of these with nice shot and that's pretty much about it but hope, hopefully you guys appreciate this video if you guys did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later